what is going on youtube it's your boy nevin the barber and in today's youtube tutorial we're going to be covering a blurry drop fade so to get right into today's tutorial i'm going to be using my gamma hitters with the mo modified p3 blade on them to carve in my first guideline and like i said this is going to be a drop fade so you guys can see i'm taking it right beneath my client's occipital bone in the back giving myself enough space to you know create a nice blurry blend and i'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the right side making sure that i get a nice clean symmetrical guideline on both sides and it's very important that you guys make sure that both sides are symmetrical before going into the fade just remember that clean symmetrical guidelines will equal a clean symmetrical blend. So now that I have that guideline set, I'm going to go ahead and take my gamma alpha clippers with the lever all the way open to create my, my next guideline. And I am giving myself about one inch in this guideline right here. That way I have enough space to blend out what I need to blend out and little by little I'm just going to be closing the lever one notch at a time shortening my cutting stroke to flick out that guideline we created and as you guys are closing the lever just be sure that you don't go too high just because obviously the hair is going to be getting cut at a little bit of a shorter length Now that we have that section blended out, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the left side of my client's head. And for some barbers, they like to, you know, take out the bulk first, but personally, I like to set my guidelines in and go straight into the blend with the lever open, no guard. And as you guys can see, I'm making this guideline consistent just as I did with my trimmer line. And little by little, just keep attacking that guideline. It's very important that you guys identify the growth pattern of your client's hair. That way you can see what direction it's growing. And in some cases, you might have to angle your clipper, you know, in different directions and whatnot. But just pay attention to that because it's a lot easier when you guys are angling the clipper in the direction that the hair is growing out of the scalp. So now that we have that first section blended out, I'm going to get into the next guideline in this haircut with my one guard all the way open. So this is basically cutting the hair at a short one and a half guard length. And again, I am giving myself about one inch in this next step. This next guideline is basically going to be where the majority of your blend takes place. So you do want to be sure to give yourself enough room whenever creating this section. As you guys can see, I'm flicking out at that guideline. I'm not taking it all the way up into his crown area just because we are going to remove that section with the three and the two guard. So now I have the number three guard all the way open. And you guys can see I'm just shifting right off of that parietal ridge and the occipital bone in the back. And this is a different system that I am using today in this tutorial. Usually I would get straight into clipper over comb, but I did want to show you guys how to achieve a blend with the guards only. This is more of a beginner's tutorial. So as you guys can see, I'm just attacking the bulk now using the three guard all the way open, followed by the number two guard. And the two guard isn't necessarily removing that guideline, it's just making it a little bit softer. That way when I come back with the one and a half guard open, 
everything will start to come together. So now, like I said, I have my one and a half guard all the way open. I'm trying to blend that last guideline into the bulk. That way we just have to come back with the half guard to finish up our blend. So now I'm starting with the lever all the way open. This is cutting the hair at a short number one guard length. And we're just using the corner of our blade to attack that last guideline in our fade. And just be patient with it. Like I said, sometimes based off of your client's hair texture, uh, some clients might take a little bit longer than others to blend out based off of the density and the the how how dense and thick their hair is so now we're going to repeat the same process on the right side using the half guard to blend out that last section in our fade and then we'll use the number three guard and the two guard to blend into the bulk and if you guys have learned anything in this haircut tutorial so far please be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel i do i truly do appreciate each and all of my subscribers so thank you for you Anybody who tuned in. And now using my number three guard all the way open. Now I have the lever closed. Just attacking that last guideline. For the bigger guards, I don't really do much lever play. I usually just do lever open followed by lever closed. And that's for the three, the two, and the one and a half. So right here I have the number two guard again with my lever all the way open followed by lever closed and it's just softening up that bulk area for us so when we come back with the one and a half guard it'll be easier to blend out so now we're at the one and a half guard all the way open and like i said this is just finishing up the top area of your fade into the bulk uh into the bulk on top Now that we have our fade complete we can go ahead and get into the lineup and for the lineup my client's uh bangs were overhanging a lot so he wanted to create a new uh hairline so basically i just combed his baby hairs down and kept it as natural as i could and some clients may not want to edge up the front so just be sure to consult with them and ask them what they would like my client, like I said, did want a new lineup. So same thing on the right side of my client's head. Whenever I do my edge ups, I do like to start on the uh, front of my client's forehead, followed by the box in the C cup on the sideburns. So now that we have our trimmer line in for the lineup, I can go ahead and follow it with the razor. And the razor is really what is what's gonna make this area pop right here. I would personally recommend that you guys lean your client all the way back. That way you can get a nice clean shave up against the grain. And always be sure to apply tension in the opposite direction in which you guys are bringing the razor blade just to make this job a little bit easier. And now I'm gonna go ahead and trim the top of my client's hair. He did wanna keep most of his curls, so I'm just doing a nice, 
a nice clean trim all around just cutting off all the dead hair basically and basically I'm just creating subsections following my previous cut it's always important that you guys have a moving guideline whenever doing shear work and now i'm gonna go ahead and apply some of my nevin the barber curling foam to bring some moisture and hydration to my client's hair and if you guys are interested in purchasing this product right here I'll be sure to uh, leave my website in the description on this video and now for the fun part in this haircut I'm gonna go ahead and use my gamma trimmers to remove the bulk And you guys can see that these trimmers were able to remove the bulk effortlessly without snagging or tugging my client's hair. If you guys are interested in any of the trimmers or clippers that I used, I'll be sure to leave Gamma's website in the description as well. And like I said, if you guys want to save some money on them, feel free to use my code NEVIN10 at checkout. And one more time, just going over my fade with my Gamma hitters ensuring that I knocked off all of those last flyaways on the bottom of my fade. And it's very important that you guys do this and just double check your work. Your client will not only appreciate it, but it will increase your chances of retainment as well. And now I'm gonna follow that trimmer with my Gamma Uno shaver. And this is a very powerful shaver right here although it is a single foil it's still very very powerful and it's very good in areas like behind the ear and just you know on the mustache area or the goatee and tight areas that the double foil can't get so if you all are interested in a new nice little shaver i would recommend this uno shaver as well and one more time just going over my fade you know making sure i blend that skin line in making sure there's no last dark hairs and you guys do want to go over your hairline one more time as well just because sometimes barbers will leave extra hangovers and flyaways that need to be cut and personally, I do like to do shear over comb in all of my haircuts just because I, I feel like it gives more of a blurrier transition from the fade into the bulk. So just rolling my comb out at a 90 degree angle right off of that parietal ridge, as you guys can see, just attacking those last dark hairs. But that is about it for today's haircut tutorial. Again, thank you for anybody who tuned in this far. I appreciate you guys for watching. If you guys learned anything in the video, please be sure to smash that like button, drop a comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But it's been your boy Nevin the Barber. I appreciate you guys for watching, and I'm out. I'll see you guys in the next one.